Hey, my neat warriors, are you also one of those students who keep studying for hours together, but you are never really satisfied with the output, you are never really, you know, happy about what you have studied and you feel like you have not done anything throughout the day. Maybe you also study day in, day out, even in the night, sacrificing sleep, but other students are just chilling out, doing some random time pass and yet they end up scoring better than you. Doesn't it hurt you? It makes you feel very sad, isn't it? Maybe you are also one of those students who attends all the classes. You are very punctual. You make also all the notes. But some student who is very casual, but studying smartly, ends up scoring better than you. And you are the one who is sitting with a lot of backlogs. You are the one who has a lot of pending portions. That leads to a lot of depression. And you get demotivated and you feel like giving up. And you feel that you are not worth it. But it's the time where we put an end to all these backlogs. Because I'm going to give you five laws. Yes, five laws by which you can study worth of 10 hours in just five hours. And the five hours that you save, you will study for 10 hours more worth of studies in those more five hours. So you can see how this video is going to benefit you like crazy. It's going to be a game changer in your life. So make sure you watch this till the end. But before we begin, I want you to make a small pledge. There might be some portion which is going on in your current school or the coaching. At least don't make that a backlog topic. Because if that happens, then you're going to waste a lot of time. It's going to cause a lot of trouble in the future. So a small pledge, my dear students, make sure that you are dedicating your time for the current topic and dedicate maybe one to two hours or maybe four to six hours in a week for your backlog topics depending on how many backlogs are there and if you have made this small pledge please let me know by smashing that like button down there that way i will know that at least you are pledging to not make further backlogs now starting off with the zero at law never ever use mobile phones keep it in do not disturb mode in fact don't even talk to anyone, be it your parents, be it your brother, sisters, be it your boyfriends, girlfriends, friends, anyone. Always stay away from any kind of social activity or any kind of activity which is going to distract you. In fact, don't even turn on the TV when you are studying, if you can. At least let your parents know that I don't want to be distracted by the noise of the TV in case you are not able to isolate yourself from the TV room. In fact, you should not even be gaming because a lot of people think, okay, I've studied so much, so let me just play a game. But in fact, it is very addictive. And you will always keep thinking about, oh, what was my last score and how do I beat my friend the next time? So please say no to gaming, especially when you are in the last stage or you are in the final stages just before the examination and your rank is going to decide your future. Also, please say no to lazing around. Never ever say that, okay, let me just chill and uh, lie down and read this topic or let me just take a nap for five minutes never do that because that is going to uh, waste a lot of time of your time and honestly tell me how many of you have been doing one or more of these things so please stop this right away right now because that's only going to increase your productivity then going with the first law of priority clock depending on whether you have a lot of time or less time i have made two charts observe this if you are watching this video many months before the exam, like four to five months before the examination at least, then start off with those chapters which carry a lot of weightage and they take a lot of time. That's your first priority. Then go to the second priority which is high weightage, but you need little bit lesser time to complete them. Okay? Then go to low weightage chapters. That means fewer questions are there in the exam, but they take a lot of time to actually complete it and then go to the low weightage low input chapters hardly any questions and you can cover these chapters within a day in fact you can search on the youtube or the internet which are those kind of chapters but if you're watching this video just few months before the examination then your priority will be slightly different high weightage low input because you want to maximize your efficiency and all those chapters which take less time but are asked heavily in the exam will be your first priority. Then low weightage, low input. Time is less, so low input and low weightage because at least you'll get some marks 
through those low weightage chapters. If still time is remaining, then go to high weightage, high input chapters. Because this is going to take a lot of your time. If you put this here, then you might not even reach or complete this part. That's why high weightage and high input in the third priority. And if time is still left, then go to the last part, low weightage, low input. All right. And to add a step further, to improve your efficiency further, you can study these chapters in relationship with other chapters. Like gravitation is very much related to electrostatics and magnetostatics. So study them together. You will see you will save a lot of time. You can always find chapters in even physics, chemistry or even biology or many other subjects where you can study them together, which will improve your efficiency like anything, right? So that's your first law. Now the second law of relativity, well, not in physics, but for improving your efficiency. Imagine a situation where your teacher has given you a homework. Maybe your lab attendant has given you a journal to be completed and your coaching center has given an assignment and the work just keeps on piling up. You don't feel like doing it. You are not in the mood, but the moment the deadlines come, suddenly what happens is you become a multitasker. You complete the journal. You are able to complete the assignment. You are able to complete the homework, everything. What changes? You are the same person. So the thing which has changed is the thing of deadline. Whenever you set a deadline in your mind, you feel like doing it. You feel like completing the task then and then. So always set small, small deadlines and reward yourself when you complete the deadline. Yes, I did this task. Okay, I did 10 problems. Okay, next I want to do these exercises. Okay, next I want to make these notes. And when you set smaller deadlines, suddenly you will become a more productive. You become a multitasker. The next law is of Pomodoro technique. Some of you might already know it. What you should do is you start studying, let's say for 25 minutes, take a small break of five minutes. Again, take a break of five minutes after studying for 25 minutes. Again, sit for studies for 25 minutes and take a break and again do that. But now take a longer break, maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes and then again repeat this. So when you take breaks at regular intervals, and then take a long break after many cycles, then your mind is always refreshed. And also you're ensuring that you are coming back from the break after that break is over or else there is no limit to the break because you will always feel like extending the break. So make this as a rule and you will see your productivity and efficiency will go up like anything. So that's your rule number or, or the third law. The fourth law of revision and planning. Well, tell me honestly, has it happened with you that you have studied a chapter and you feel like, okay, it's done and dusted. And then you come back after four months or three months, there is a test and you suddenly feel like, oh my God, I don't remember anything. I need to study that again. So whatever you studied then has gone for a complete waste. No use of, uh, you know, studying for those many hours. You again have to sit and study that. Why this happened? Because you have not revised it. So it's very important that maybe on a weekly basis, then monthly basis, or then after two or three months, you keep coming back to those chapters which you have already completed or studied. That way it never goes out of your mind and whatever you have studied has never gone for a waste. And you never have to really do that same studies again and again. Last moment, you can just see those notes. You can quickly see all those things which are very important or underlined or highlighted and you can be prepared and ready for the examination. Now, what I want you to do is start making a list of all the topics for each subject, priority wise, relationship wise, low weightage, high input, etc. Divide them according to your level of understanding because a chapter might be high input or low input depending on what kind of a person you are or how much level of understanding you have. Also make sure that you are giving for backlogs at least two to three hours a day, depending on when you are watching this video. Also very important that you solve the PYQs of all the chapters, no matter which chapter you are studying, always after NCRT you are solving the PYQs. And if you want those seven year PYQs for free of course, check out the link which is there in the description box. That way you know you are ready to actually give the final NEET examination.
So make sure you check out the link and it is available for free of cost all the seven year PYQs. And make sure that you are also a part of our Telegram channel so that you keep getting updates, you keep getting those quizzes, you keep getting those weekly mock tests and also our handwritten notes free of cost on our study oriented NEET Telegram channel which is called as the Vedantu NEET English. So I hope you found all these tips and tricks very useful and I want to see in the comment section no more wastage, no more waste. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to smash the like button as well. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. Captain Shreya signing off.